Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game feed. Of course, my name is Panzer6, and today we're going to talk about E3, and we're going to speculate on the big three, and we're going to see if we're right or wrong. We're going to do a lot of guessing because I want to, and we need to, and plus it'll be fun and make make a great video. Maybe I don't know, <laughs> but first let's go ahead and talk about Nintendo. Nintendo. They're not going to have big presence at E3, but they are bringing in Zelda. It's going to be fully playable. Uh, the new open world Zelda that's going to be out for both the Wii U and the NX. But we're not going to see the NX version because we'll be playing it on the Wii U on the show floor. Now, with that being said, I think a lot of people are going to be blown away by this game. It's going to feel really, really polished. Uh, even though the game has been pushed back to next year to coincide with the launch of the NX. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be really surprised when they get a hold of this game. Because whenever you think about Nintendo, you think about quality and you think about fun. And I think this year, Zelda is going to be the game of the entire E3 show. I think it's going to just blow everybody away. Uh, my fiance is super excited about this game because she's a big Zelda fan. I, I myself, I've played some Zelda games. I'm not super big into them, um, but I understand the appeal and the legacy. So I'm excited to see this game, and I'll probably get this game because you know I want to play it. And plus, I know Nikki's going to play it. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's go ahead and throw in some wild cards. Let's just say, let's just say. We show, you know, Nintendo shows up at E3 and they have Zelda. And they decide, and I don't know if they're doing this or not. They may, in the last few years, they've been doing a digital event and even the uh, Nintendo Treehouse. So let's go ahead and speculate. We're going to do three wild cards. And this is going to be for uh, Nintendo. And we'll do the same thing with the, uh, the other two. So, okay. So... Nintendo decides to go ahead and do a digital event. So, first wild card. We're going to get to see the first time we're going to see the NX, and we're going to see what it does, and we're going to see its specs, and what it's, going to, what it's gimmick or its uh, <laughs> innovation is going to be. Because you know, Nintendo, they're not going to make something that's not going to have some kind of innovation because Nintendo, every console they come out with, they have some type of gimmick to them. Um, and they usually work really good. I mean, they work really well with the Wii, not so much for the Wii U, um, but, you know, Nintendo is going to do something awesome. They're going to show that off. Second, we're going to see we're at a release date for Pokemon Go, which if you guys aren't familiar with that, that is the Pokemon, um, I can't think of what they call this. <laughs> it's it's basically for your Android phone, uh, and it's a game where you're in your environment and you can catch Pokemon on the go. Uh, I can't even think of the actual term for that. That's going to blow me away because later I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to say it. And I'll probably talk about it on Twitter. <laughs> but, um... That's going to happen. And lastly, we're going to get an announcement of a new Mario, open world Mario game coming exclusively for the NX. And just for a bonus, just for a bonus, this isn't a wild card. This is just a speculation. Okay, so any digital game that you have purchased for the Wii, the Wii U, 3DS, DS, um, anything... You'll be able to play these games fully backwards compatible with the NX. Um, you'll be able to play these games. Your library is going to be there, and it's going to be awesome. Everything is going to be working. You can download them to the NX, and it's just going to be good. That may happen. It may not happen, but that's my guess. Okay. So next, let's go ahead and talk about Sony. Now, Sony has had a lot of big rumors floating around, and it may be a really interesting show, but let's go ahead and talk about what I think is going to happen. And like I said, we'll throw in a few wild cards at the end and see how it goes. Okay, so first and foremost, 
the PlayStation Neo or PlayStation 4K, they will officially show this system and they're going to show us how it works and how it's going to uh, not separate PlayStation 4 players and, you know, the PlayStation Neo players. Uh, we're going to see that and we're going to see how games look on this system compared to what they look on the regular system. We'll have full specs and we'll have a price. I think the price will be around $399 to $499. I don't think it's going to be much more expensive than the base console. Um, it may be $100 more, maybe $200. But I also see them having a bundle, PlayStation Neo with... PlayStation VR, and I think that's going to be about $599 or $699, um, and we're, I, I see that happening. They're going to spend a lot of time talking about that and the PlayStation VR integration. We'll see exclusive games that's only going to be on the PlayStation VR platform, um, especially from, from bigger studios. We'll see some games that are multi-plat, but they're going to have PlayStation VR um, content that's only available for that. Um, you see that all the time with, you know, AAA games. They'll have exclusive content that you can only get if you per have it on one console or the other. That's going to happen for sure. Um, okay, so next we're going to see God of War 4, or whatever they're going to call it. And it's going to be Kratos. we already seen some artwork, but it hasn't been confirmed. But there is going to be a God of War 4 announcement. Um, so Norse gods. Kratos is angry again. And he wants to kill more gods. So he's going to kill more gods and be angry. Uh, it'll be stunning to look at. It'll be really nice. Um... All you guys have to do is look at PlayStation 3 and how God of War 3 and uh, I forgot what the other one is called because I didn't really like it anyways. It wasn't that good. Um, but God of War 3 was great. Um, and those games looked phenomenal. And they did an HD remaster of 3 for the PlayStation 4. Um, but we're going to see that. It's going to look really good. Uh, we'll probably see Sucker Punch's new title. Uh, let's see. There will be a new Spider-Man um, Spider open world game for exclusively for the PlayStation 4. Um, I've seen that being teased. I think it was from Robert Bowling, um, former Activision head. It was, he, not Activision, I think he worked for Infinity Ward, I think. I could be wrong. I might have the name wrong. I should have done some more studying before I started this video. Um but we're going to see that. Um, see, we'll see some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, there'll be Final Fantasy VII. They'll show a little bit of that. And I think they might surprise us with one of two things. I think at the end they're going to show off a reboot of Scython Filter. I would love to see that. And that's, that's almost a wild card on its own. So I would love to see Siphon Filter uh, being announced on there. Okay, so let's talk about wild cards here. Wild cards, we're going to do three of them, maybe a bonus one. First one, um, Hideo Kojima will come on stage and announce his new game exclusively for the PlayStation 4. Um, he's going to talk about his engine he found. And what the game's going to be like. And Sony is going to back this game. Um, that may happen. Okay. Number two, Sony will announce its own version of the... Their own version of an Elite controller. So this thing will probably cost around $150. Now, like I said, I'm guessing. I don't know if this will happen. But I think it's a good possibility because... They may see how Xbox done with their Elite controller and how it's sold really, really well. And I think, you know, a premium controller for the PlayStation would be great. Um, so I think that's going to be announced. Number three, and this is big. This this might just this is probably not going to happen at all. Sony will announce that 
PlayStation 4K or PlayStation Neo was fully backwards compatible with PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games, as well as any game that you purchased digitally. And they're going to go ahead and ditch PlayStation Now and just make everything backwards compatible. That's my wild card for that. So let's go ahead and do a bonus. Bonus. Uh, we'll do a bonus for each one. So the bonus card here, the bonus. And let me think here. This might, this might be good. Okay, okay. So what they're going to do, Xbox announced a while back that they want to do um, <coughs> cross uh, cross play. So Xbox players can play against PlayStation players. Sony is going to announce that they're not going to do it. They don't want any part of it, and that's going to be the end of it. I think that's going to happen. I don't think Sony is going to play nice with Microsoft on this one, but, you know, it could happen. All right, so that's what we think about Sony and Nintendo. So let's go ahead and move to Microsoft. Okay, first and foremost, Microsoft's going to come out on the stage um, big montage. First game they're probably going to show is Battlefield 1. So we're going to see gameplay for Battlefield 1, and we're going to talk about the exclusive content for this for Xbox, as well as you get to play a early beta if you are on EA, um, if you are on the EA Access uh, subscription plan. Um, we'll probably see that. Um, We'll probably see a hardware uh, revision. Now, I don't think it's going to be anything like the PlayStation 4. I think it's going to be a smaller form factor system um, with better cooling. And it might run a little bit better. But I don't think they're going to go out and create a system that's going to be way more powerful. But I could be wrong. I could be really wrong. Um, there is speculation about that. That could happen. Both companies may do revit, are going to do revisions that, you know, they're going to up the processors, the GPU, CPU, whatever, to see how that works. Um, okay. So, next thing we'll see, we're going to see Crackdown 3. We're going to see a lot of gameplay for that. They're going to announce an open beta, uh, which will be available during E3 and you can download the game and check it out and uh, you're going to be able to test out the multiplayer aspect of the game and see how the cloud architecture works for that game and I think it's going to, you know, people are going to be blown away by it. I think when people see, you know, the destruction and chaos you can cause, I think it's going to be awesome. All right, so next we're going to see Gears of War 4. Uh, we'll have a you know a little bit of a demo there. They'll do another open beta uh, for Gears. They'll announce that um, they already got the release date, and I think we're good there. I don't think they're going to announce any remasters or anything like that. I think they may announce the season pass, and the season pass will have maybe some um, single player content. Uh, let's see. Next, we'll see some gameplay and a release date for Halo Wars 2. That may happen. That's not out of the realm of uh, possibilities. Uh, let's see. What else? Okay, okay. So we'll get to see Call of Duty, maybe. Maybe we'll see Call of Duty. I don't know, though, because they kind of switched gears and went to the PlayStation we might see that. We might not. Um, Forza, whatever they're going to have. Forza Horizon 3 or Forza 7 um, or the Apex addiction, uh, Edition of 6. And I don't know what else Microsoft would actually be able to throw out. Um, of course, they could probably end it with the, uh, like they usually do, maybe Halo 6 will be announced and it will be announced that Halo 6 is not the end of the saga. Um, with the, it's currently with 4, 5, and 6. I think number 6 will be another part of it. And it will probably go on for a couple more chapters before they close Halo's, that story arc. 
Um, that, that may happen. They may do that, and they may also um, announce remasters of maybe three or reach I, maybe I, I don't know that's the, the that's that may be a wild card okay so we'll see cuphead everybody's excited about cuphead uh, more idea xbox games um i think that's about it for microsoft i can't think of anything else microsoft could throw at us but then again they may have a new ip they all announce um which will be kind of nice um all right, so let's do some wild cards. New wild cards. And some of these have already been speculated, so I'm going to go ahead and throw one out. Um, a revision of the Xbox One controller and a new Xbox Elite controller. That's possible. That is very possible. They may do that, may not. Um, let's see what else. They're going to announce some more backwards compatibility. Uh, Titles, there's a bunch of new ones coming out. Um, they're going to release that day, a flood of them. Um, it's going to make a lot of people happy. And a third, they may have a new UI um, update, um, kind of similar to what they did with um, last year when they moved up to Windows 10. I think they will have some more incorporation of the fat. Now, my last thing, and I don't think this is going to hold anything and this is a big big maybe all right so what they're going to do they're going to announce red dead redemption 2 um with exclusive content only for the xbox one for a limited time maybe they rockstar will announce it on this system I, they may form a partnership with rockstar and that game will be um, coming out with, you know, exclusive content just for that system. Kind of similar to what Sony's doing with Destiny. Um, I think that's going to be the wild, wild card there. Now, I could be wrong, I said. And everything I have talked about is just pure speculation. Some of the things are rumored anyways. So that goes on top of these. But that's what I think may happen. And I definitely, definitely apologize because I pulled a lot of these things out of my ass. So what we're going to do here is once E3 is over, um, once it's all said and done, uh, and after next week when we do the other conferences, talk about them, um, we're going to look back at these two videos and we're going to see what we got right and what we got wrong. And we'll just talk about them just to see, you know, just have a discussion. Um, but that's about it. That's about, about all I have to talk about for those three, uh, <laughs> events. So, all right, guys. So at this point, uh, if you guys get a chance, be sure to check out my last, um, video for Let's Talk. I know you guys may have seen on Facebook or Twitter, um, me talking about chance that I might not be able to get some content out, but I wanted to get this out just to have something for you all. And again, I do apologize for the stuttering and jumping from back and forth. Um, I've been doing it a lot, so if you watch the previous video, you'll kind of get a reason why for that. Um, but I do thank you so much for the support. Let me know what you guys think is coming out. Let me know if you have some crazy speculations or crazy ideas, and we'll compare them. We'll talk about them. Let's have a big discussion about it, but let's... Let's not be dicks. Let's not be trolls. That's what the other videos talk about. Again, my name is Panto6. Thank you so much for the support. Be sure to hit a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? See you later.